In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Messages new AI feature. So Gemini has came to Google Messages and as you can see here, I was testing it out just to show you what that looks like. So first of all, we're going to go through the AI feature of responses to messages that you've been sent. So I am writing a message here and you can see the limitations first and foremost because I wanted to know if the AI feature was going to be able to bring up the current weather conditions for Paris which as you can see it has not been able to provide. So I have asked a different question just to see how this AI feature would pan out and look like for Google Messages. So I asked what is the name of Paris's main airport and if I hit the speech bubble option which you can see I'm tapping on here it picks up the name of the main airport. So that's the first use that I found with the Google AI Gemini chatbot, whatever you want to call it. And then I asked it a different question something along the same lines and I wanted to know what the main train company was called for Paris and again the Gemini AI feature was able to pick up the the name for this so as you can see that's how it would look in response to messages that you've been sent. Now let me show you what it looks like for composing a message. So as you can see the little wand beside the message that I'm typing here. Once we type the message that we want then we can hit the little wand and AI will work its magic. So let me show you what that looks like now. So first and foremost you can see hi I was wondering if you'd be interested in going out for a date with me sometime. Hi there I was wondering if you'd be interested in going out for a date sometime. Then we can click on Shakespeare and you can see the responses change in a Shakespearean way. Then we can tap on chill and as you can see as we go on on these little subcategories on how you want to respond, how the message changes. Um, my favourite of the responses is the lyrical side of things because it puts a little rhyme and rhythm into your messages and kind of make it a little fun um, but you can see the different options that you have here you can put it formal if you're maybe want to send a message to a work colleague and so on and the best of them all is the short date that was my favorite so i hope you find this video helpful thank you for watching until next time peace